everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. Right now in this video we're gonna check out the patch notes for season 1.5 of Apex Legends Mobile coming to the game tomorrow. New content, bug fixes, optimizations and more so definitely make sure to watch the full video. So here we go, let's start off with the new content. The new legend coming to the game is going to be Loba, which we haven't known about for quite a while. Now, over here is a short description of Loba in case you're interested in reading that. Her passive is going to be eye for quality, nearby epic and legendary loot can be seen through walls. Her tactical is going to be burglar's best friend, teleport instantly by throwing your jump drive bracelet to a targeted location. Her ultimate ability is going to be Black Market Boutique. Place a portable shop on the ground that allows you and your allies to instantly loot the surrounding area. Then we have Legend Progression. Play Loba and unlock her unique Legend Progression perks to steal the win from the competition. You can unlock Loba in the shop or at level 25 in the battle pass. Some of Loba's perks include the ability to gain extra loot from crates and even steal her squadmates banners. Hop into the game to explore everything Loba and her new perks have to offer. Now we have a new limited time mode, armed and dangerous, shotguns and snipers only, definitely gonna be interesting, up and close or afar, there is no middle ground. Then we have Town Takeover, the Climatizer. Winter Warfare has taken over World's Edge. The Climatizer will turn off and on during the course of a match covering parts of World's Edge with snow. Definitely hyped about that. Drop into World's Edge for frosty rewards. When the Climatizer is on, check your minimap for frosted loot boxes. Collect diamonds from frosted over loot boxes and foes alike to spend on rare items in the seasonal shop. Keep your eye peeled for snow grenades, a new throwable item that damages and slows enemies when it explodes. Now we have the new seasonal shop. Collect diamonds to spend in the brand new seasonal shop. Diamonds can be found in loot boxes during a match or on opponents when eliminated and can be earned by completing missions. Over here is a sneak peek of the seasonal shop and I've got to say I'm quite a fan of the snowy icy weapon blueprints, definitely looks very nice. Now we have the new battle pass, over here is also a sneak peek of the new battle pass and I've got to say that Octane Snowy Icy skin definitely does look really nice. I'm pretty excited for the battle pass this time around. Now we have some changes to the battle pass. Since the release of the primetime battle pass, we have received an astounding level of support. We're continuously doing our best to review your feedback and optimize the battle pass experience. To express our gratitude, we will be providing the following rewards to players who purchase the Premium Pass Plus or the Premium Pass for the Primetime Battle Pass. 50 Syndicate Gold and 1 Syndicate Pack and these rewards will be sent to your in-game mailbox. Also starting from the launch of the new season, 800 SG will be earned back with the completion of the Cold Snap Battle Pass. Happy to finally see that in the game, that should have been in the game from the beginning. Now we have bug fixes and improvements. Optimized rave space visuals, fix an issue where players were unable to adjust the auto ammo pickup setting for the peacekeeper, adjusted several replicator spawn locations, fixed several spots on world's edge where players would get stuck or blocked on the terrain, fix an issue where Mirage players would experience lag when taking out a weapon after activating their ultimate ability, fix the slowdown effect of Fate's ultimate ability if he left the game, fix Octane's incorrect voiceover callouts when using his jump pad. The devs also said the following, we really appreciate you all for being vocal and sharing your feedback with us. This is how we'll continue to make the game better with your continued feedback, be it good or critical. Some of the things we've heard from the community as urgent fixes are frustrations around the rank system, how bans are handled in normal matches, uh, matchmaking optimizations, performance optimizations for devices and servers. They also said while they cannot respond to every piece of feedback, much of the feedback they have received is either currently being addressed or the team has plans for in the near future. Notably, they'll make some adjustments to their matchmaking and systems that impact servers. Their main goal with Apex Mobile is to facilitate a highly competitive mobile experience. 
This will be a space where they'll continue to iterate with the key focus on low latency, so you're playing with players that have a similar experience on their device, and matchmaking with players of similar skill sets. Regarding the topic of bots, the dev team does see value in employing bots in various parts of the game. However, their main goal is to provide a competitive gaming experience for their players above all else. Exposure to bots should diminish as you play more and increase your skill level. They'll continue to assess and iterate their matchmaking over the upcoming seasons. Please continue to share your thoughts. They finish off by saying, we're eager to share more of what's coming to Apex Mobile when we're ready. Keep an eye out on their official communication channels. Thank you so much for your continued support of Apex Mobile. We'll see you on the dropship. So there you go. That is the brand new content, bug fixes, optimizations and improvements coming to Apex Mobile in the new season being called Snap. What do you guys think? Express your opinions and comments down below. I would love to know. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And for now, squally out and cheers. Catch you next one and bye.